Hello, dreamers. Now we are here with me, Naura, in Showcast. And I'm not alone because I got nine amazing people in here. We got Ben and Ben. Hey, hey how are you? Hello, guys. How are you doing today? Oh, we're good. We're good. Um, we're very happy to be here. Thank you for making time for us here. Yes, thank you, thank you for making time to uh, to interview with uh, Dreamers Radio. Anyway, before we start, can you say hi first to our listeners, Dreamers? Hello, Dreamers. Hi. Hello. 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 hello we dreamers. are Ben and Ben. Ben and Ben. ben, and ben. Wow, amazing. Anyway, congratulations about your collaborate collaborate single with Petra C. Hombing Comets. It's really good. I like it so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. We're glad you liked it. Um, yes. Okay. That. Thank you. Before we start to the interview, can you please introduce yourself first one by one? Okay. Um, um, I'm Miguel Benjamin. I'm on vocals and acoustic guitar and I write songs for the band. Nice My name is Paulo Benjamin, and I also play guitar, uh, write songs, and sing vocals. Okay, next. Hi, I'm Kaifer. I play the violin. Okay. Hi, I'm Jam. I play the drums. Hi, I'm Andrew. I play percussion and sing backing vocals. Hello, I am Tony. I do the same as Andrew. Hello, I'm Pat. I do keyboards. Hello. Hi, I'm Poch. I play the electric guitar and sing backing vocals. Okay. I am Agnes. I play the bass. And we are... Ben ben. Ben. Nice to meet you guys! Hey, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Wow, that's a lot of uh, members in here. Yes. Nine members. Wow, amazing. Yes. Okay, uh, besides promoting comments, what are you guys busy with now? Oh right now um yeah. we're actually working on a lot of music Ooh. and um okay. a lot of music actually with petra as well uh and right now as in in this moment where we actually have some snacks with us what really? do you have so here we have uh, it's called taho it's uh like a soy snack with uh pearls and uh brown sugar syrup yeah so it's a great it's a, filipino it's a great filipino snack, snack. Oh my god, yeah. I want to try it. Oh, it's really good. You we'll should. Some. Okay, okay, we'll, okay. We'll bring some when we when we go there, for sure. Ah, Just okay. You promise, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and yeah, yeah, we're working on a lot of music. I think this is a very creative season for us. Um, wow. Because hopefully we're working it towards a, a full album. And and we really want to release that album this year. So um, you can expect a lot more from us in the coming months. Yep. Wow. Just a whole mega box of ideas. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice, nice to hear that. But is it tiring for you guys to promote this song and you're currently working on a full album and everything? Is it tiring for you or you guys just enjoy it? The train is unstoppable. So we're going to just keep going. And wow. it's both, really enjoying, really enjoying. yeah. It, it, the thing is, it's both tiring and yeah. enjoying. Yeah. Uh, it's very enjoyable for us because we love making music the most, and this is that season for us. So um, sometimes, even when we lack sleep, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, not every day, but yeah. then not every day. But like when there are days that that you lack a bit more hours of sleep. Uh, it's it's fine because like um, spending a bit more time in the studio like last night like for example we were recording uh, mm -hmm. last night and yeah I don't know it's just really exciting for us these days. Wow, but I love sleeping, so don't forget to get an enough sleep hours, guys. <laughs> of course, of course, sleep is, very, <laughs> sleep is life. Sleep is very important. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, Ben and Ben, I see in your comment section, uh, there are a lot of Indonesian fans that uh, says enjoying your songs, loving your songs. Now, would you come to Indonesia soon, Ben and Ben? Manifesting it, yes. Um, oh. But hopefully that comes true. We're just manifesting it. <laughs> nice, nice, um, nice. 
yeah, because we really, it's one of our big dreams to be able to um, go to Indonesia. Sometimes we we just wish we're like Transformers and like Megatron or Optimus Prime and then just like fly <laughs> over to Indonesia and, you know, just just uh play our music there but then you know of course we have to plan for it and um yeah, yeah hopefully real soon like we're really working hard to make that happen yeah please come to in to please come to indonesia but uh which city in indonesia do you want to visit all, all cities, all cities. Yeah, all, all cities. <laughs> well, but uh one one. we want to uh drop by jakarta bandung yeah. and Whoa! bali yeah. How do you know Bandung? Wow. Uh we have been uh we we've met friends in the past who are from Bandung oh, and really? uh we've also heard a lot of great things about not just Bandung or Jakarta or Bali or Medan or wow, Aceh nice. but like many like many cities in Indonesia. Yeah. Nice nice nice. Okay, we will wait you in here in Indonesia in Bandung in Medan Jakarta and anywhere in Indonesia. Okay, back to your new single, Comets. Can you tell us about your single, Comets? What's this song about? Oh, Comets is a song about people uh, in our lives who aren't meant to stay. Like, um, Comets that pass, like they're very beautiful to look at, but then they just last for a few seconds and then that's it. I think sometimes people in our lives we share many beautiful memories with them but then they aren't meant to stay for good and i think that's part of life and i think if it's actually we feel it's, it's something that we don't talk about as often as we should because we always just try and bury like the past and not really deal with it but then sometimes it's good to look back and you know see that that was a good point in my life and oh. and yeah I mean, looking at the mirror, you see how much you've changed and all these experiences that you've been through in the past. And yeah, Comets is also a song about uh, memories. It's a song okay, about right. uh, memories that we look back at and we look at them with gratefulness um, for whether they were like painful memories or like good memories. Um, yeah. And I don't know, like Comets was, it's a very introspective song. It's a, it's quite deep uh, when we make people listen to it. But I, we're really happy and we hope that the message of it in its depth could really come through to people. How much you relate with these songs? All of it. I mean, like a lot of our songs are based on personal experiences. Oh, wow. Um, okay. And even, even like, that's from a songwriter's perspective, but even like yeah. with a band, when yeah. we try and put the music into it, um, the band, every instrument, like always, every instrumentalist always tries to make the part that you contribute to the song quite personal. Like you, you even, even if it's just like a guitar line or like a bass line, like you try and like channel your emotions that are related to like what the song is trying to say. That's why our music always feels a bit more personal. Um, and yeah, we, we, we love that part about music making. No, nice to hear that. And how come can you can collaborate with Petra C. Hombing? Oh, Petra. Yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> Petra's got the riz, man. Yeah, like yeah. he's, he, he's just, Hoggy. Oh, he, we call him, we call him uh, Poggy. Oh, uh, why? Why Poggy? Poggy, Poggy, po Poggy in the Filipino means handsome. <gasps> How about beautiful? What beautiful in the in yes. Philippines? Uh, maganda. Uh, beautiful is maganda. Maganda. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay. So, uh, how come you can collaborate with Poggy? Ah, uh, <laughs> well, Pogi Pogi Petra is uh he he just really came by in a way that we did not expect. Um, someone uh one of our Indonesian friends recommended us uh, collaborating with him, and because like 
his music and like him as a producer it's very he, he he's become quite popular with indonesian artists mm -hmm. as well so we tried it out so paulo actually flew to bali uh this january to meet petra and to see if like uh it there's like chemistry like if it would work out well and, and yeah i mean even before talking about uh uh the experience of hanging out with petra i also want to say that I, I love Bali also as a place because you know how there are some cities wherein the cars are so loud and they blow their air horns, uh, but but in Bali it's very quiet. So yeah. it's it's as quiet as uh, Petra's aura or vibe, and, wow. and I think like, <laughs> that's uh, that's what really got us. So a good start in terms of friendship and then eventually musical chemistry so yeah he flew flew to manila i think the month after or two months after and uh, we started working on the song comets and before we knew it we were not only working on comets but on other songs on our album as well yeah wow okay uh but what are you guys feel after release this single we feel very happy with how it turned out. Um, I, I think Petra was able to bring out what we were looking for in the song, because it is a song that's that we've been keeping for quite a while. Oh. It 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 was actually written in twenty twenty, um. um, but we waited for the right time for it to come out, and finally, like when Petra came in, um, and like worked his production magic in the mm -hmm. song, it brought out like the heaviness that we were looking for in the song to really so that people can really feel it more when they listen to it so we're happy with how it turned out and we hope that people who listen to it find the same uh meaningfulness and like they feel the song as much as we do but in the future uh, do you guys have uh, any hope to can collaborate with a, a singer from indonesia Yes, actually, uh, there are quite a few singers and bands that we really admire and respect in Indonesia. Uh, so over the years, uh, we've got to we've got the chance actually to work with <laughs> uh, with sorry with Pamongkas, uh, Pamongkas, uh, and. Uh, there's there's this singer that, that we yeah. met in Malaysia. Yeah. Uh, her name is Liodra. <gasps> we actually didn't meet her, but we nice. but we watched uh, her show yeah, in, yeah. in Malaysia, and her voice is really beautiful. And yeah. someday we hope to be able to to work with her someday. Uh, manifesting that also. Manifesting, right? Okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That would be a good collaboration between you guys. Wow. Oh, Thank okay. you. Talking about fans, uh, do you guys have uh, any fan base name for your fans? Do you guys have any fandom? Actually, the fandom name um, that we have for our fans is called uh, Liwanag. Li Liwanag. Yeah, Liwanag. Liwanag. Liwanag is a Filipino word. Okay, um, what is it? It, it means light light it means light um and i i i think like we we want our listeners to be a light to each other when yeah. when when they are faced with like dark times in their life okay uh and i think our music our music is a music that helps people go through tough times as well and so i think people who who have been through tough times yep. when they when they are better yep our dream is for like people to help others also become better when when others are going through tough times as well. So that's why it's called Liwanag. Liwanag. Wow, so beautiful, Liwanag. But in Indonesia, a light we call it cahaya. 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 Yes. Oh. Cahaya. Cahaya. <laughs> cahaya. Yes, yes, yes. Um. Uh, Chahaya, wow, that's so beautiful. Chahaya. Yeah, Chahaya is light. Liwana. Liwana is beautiful too. Yes. 
<laughs> Is it any comments from your uh, from Liwana for this new single? Oh, they really like it. Um, hmm. They were also very happy with uh, it being a collaboration with Petra. And yeah, they have been waiting for this song for a while now. Because um, it was actually first uh, previewed right after it was written back in 2020. Like we went live on Instagram, I think. And then Paolo played the song. Oh. And then people have been looking for the song for four years after that. <gasps> Um, oh my God, it's long and then now it's finally out. So a lot of people are really happy yeah. that it's finally out there. But do you guys face any difficulties when you make this single? Of course. I mean, like <laughs> like anything. Um, yeah, because it's, it's a song that was written in 2020. Yep. And it took us this long to release it. And it just wasn't right until Petra joined joined us with this song and and actually the song told us itself <laughs> like arnold schwarzenegger i am what's it i'll be back i'll be back and it did come back <laughs> this year <Okay>. with petra <laughs> yeah. wow okay talking about ben and ben uh actually i'm really uh, curious about the name itself ben and okay. ben how come you name it Ben and Ben? I know it's Ben and Ben. It's from uh, your name, right? Benjamin. Yeah. But, but uh, uh, what's the idea and oh, where is it? Where's the idea come from? Yeah, I think, well, Ben and Ben uh, came from our second name, uh, Benjamin. Because yep. um, we're actually twins, um, the both of us. And then yeah. uh, when we when we thought of the name, it was initially just supposed to be uh, the two of us at first. And then when we got together with the band, they yeah. they said that we should, uh, we said to them that, hey guys, we should probably change the name because like we're a lot now and uh, Ben and Ben sounds like two people. And yeah. then they, they were like, it's okay, just keep it. I mean, we should keep the name and it's a good <laughs> conversation starter. Like oh wow! Like when you say oh Ben and Ben, and then like the camera turns on and like there's like nine people. And like, yeah. Oh wow, there's so many people. So there's <laughs> there is no deep backstory to the name Ben and Ben, in as much as we would have wanted a deep backstory to it. But then, it's but fun. it makes sense though, because our frontmen are, uh, twins. Yeah. So it's. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. So you guys are twin, uh, but who is older and younger? <laughs> ah, Paolo is older by 45 seconds. Oh. And oh, wow. seconds. Seconds. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. But it's funny because like, you know how siblings, uh, yeah. how sibling dynamics are where sometimes like the older one gets to... um boss around the younger one sometimes or like um, makes makes the younger one like buy stuff or like do yeah, chores or something. like you know when, when growing up uh, we would make some bold moves like I would throw like a projectile of like a, a, a paper ball <laughs> to Miguel and then sometimes he would he would steal my beanie and I guess like you know it was just um a very uh i was i was i was like oh yeah and and i would finish his burger and then i would like always just uh you know just sibling things yeah yeah but, that's what but, siblings do right yeah and i guess like you know over time we realized that uh all of us are like siblings and and uh that's what makes our band really solid over the years yeah but but how about the other members? Uh, uh, is there any time when this uh, twin siblings uh, got into fight? Is there any time right there, right there, like that? Yeah, we did. We we we've <laughs> seen them fight, <laughs> right? <laughs> what? Yes, yes. But yes, because yeah. uh, did you know that we uh, when in in the pandemic we all lived in one house? Okay. Wow, that's so fun. Yeah, we yeah. did. And so we got to see each other's... Um, we were all housemates, basically. When you for, live with yeah, yeah, someone, you see yeah, everything. Yeah. So, 
I think we got really cl- much closer right after yeah. that. And so we do have this sibling energy right now. So basically, you're all siblings right now by the time, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. It, it, it feels yes. that way. Yes. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Okay, guys, if you have one chance, which country do you want to visit the most? Oh, this year we really want to visit Indonesia a lot. So we hope that, oh. we really sincerely hope that happens. Okay, please come to Indonesia, guys. Yes, we will. And when, when we perform there, we we'll hope to see you there as well. I come and I bring a, a lot of Indonesian food. Do you guys have any Indonesian food that you want to try? Oh, we I, I have never tried uh, rendang from Indonesia. Like, <gasps> I've try always it. tried it like from all over except in Indonesia. Yeah. So I, I want to try it. Uh, same goes with nasi goreng. Nasi goreng and rendang. That's uh, really... Kaifer, Kaifer loves spicy food. So. Oh, nice. You handle spicy food well, okay. Again. We also would love to try uh gado gado <gasps> and um you know all those pika pika foods like uh what's this called tempe tempe, tempe. Yeah. Yeah. that's a healthy food anyway tempe yeah, yeah. nice nice yep, yep, nice yep. okay and okay. uh what else uh soto betawi soto betawi oh my god that's my favorite all the time you oh really. Try. Yes. Also, yeah, we want to try that. Oh, what's yeah. soto betawi? It's like uh, it's like a very specific soup. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, I can't describe it, but is it the, sour? Is it salty? Or the broth it, itself it? it comes from uh, coconut milk, so it's really oh, creamy. Yummy. And uh, the topping itself yeah, it good. with uh, a lot of meat. Oh, oh my god, I'm getting hungry <laughs> by describing it. <laughs> that sounds good. Yes. Yeah, it's it's really good. You should try. Um, but anyway, how about uh Philippine uh, foods? Do you guys have any re- recommendation? Cause I really want to try and explore it. Filipino food. Ah. Uh, yep. I I think um, one would be the most basic one would be adobo and sinigang. So adobo is uh chicken in okay. so and marinated oh. in soy sauce uh, vinegar garlic okay. wow um, yeah oh. and it makes such a uh, a really nice aroma when you cook it um oh, and wow. then another would be sinigang sinigang is sinigang. it's not exactly like tom tom yum but then mm-hmm. it's it's also sour it's like a tom tom yum's cousin like oh, yeah, yeah, it's not it. spicy but mm-hmm. then it is very it, it it is quite sour okay but like people love it for that i think southeast asians would love it as well um, oh, okay. and, and then another one would be kare 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 kare, kare, kare is uh a, it's quite like rendang but not oh. as Sinati. uh spicy yeah. oh, okay. but it it has a lot of it it's it uh, less less coconut but okay. more more peanuts Ooh, so like I love it's it. peanut, pe- peanut based yeah oh wow okay 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 it's uh, i think it's same like gado gado because gado gado it's peanut based too oh okay yeah. i wow. think like indonesians would love filipino food and vice versa yeah that would be great ah, okay i want to try and explore philippine foods um anyway i learned uh i learned this a uh, new uh new words uh, from philippines mahal kita am i right yes it's i love mahal you kita. right yes. yes i love you um wow. and then uh what else what else guys Salamat. Can you uh, Salamat. it's thank you right thank you yes yeah and then uh i know oh uh, what's that I know, yes i know is it's it's kind of like have you heard like in in japanese like nani or like oh. in uh or it, i think it means what right what what, what? what? I know. yeah i know i know i know yeah okay know. If, if someone tells you something and you can't understand you just say i know i know <laughs> Yeah. That's cute. Okay. Yeah. You, you sound like a Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. 
Ano? Um, okay, okay. Yeah. Ano? Nice. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, what else? Um, um, oh, we should teach her like slang, like oh, like wow. like current, current slang. Slang. Um, but 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 knows a lot. <laughs> Ah, okay. So, so, so now, uh, it's quite an evolution of 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 words. So, like, there's a there's a slang, naol, like any naol, but you say you you say it like naol, naol. Yeah, like that. Um, it, comes two words. it comes from two words, uh, yeah. sana, yeah. and then all. Or. Like, yeah, uh, all. all is in like all in English. Like, like everybody, all. all. Everybody. All. Oh, okay, uh, okay. But but what sana, sana is what, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. hopefully. Yeah. So like you say san, you say na all when, for example, like someone has like a, 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 a boyfriend. And or or a girlfriend, and then like you wish that you also had a boyfriend or a girlfriend. You say, ah, oh, I no, see. No, 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 uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I just got an idea from my uh from the crew in here. Okay, go okay. ahead. Uh, we call it menyala abangku. Menyala abangku. Yes, menyala abangku. Uh, it means okay. like um, when you hype someone, it's actually a a guy and guy, gitu ya. Uh, guy and guy. Uh, hmm. when you hype someone, it's like uh, menyala abangku, menyala abangku. So you have to say it with a uh, with a uh, with passion, yeah. hype. exciting hype. sound. Menyala like, abangku, menyala abangku, menyala abangku, menyala abangku. Okay. Menyala bangku guys. Menyala bangku. Yeah, I'm hyped now. I'm hyped right? now. It's yeah. like hyping someone. Yes, that's right. Like it's you have yes. you hyping We're someone try, with yeah. that. Like yeah. our, for example, like basketball. Like you, really like that. Like. Menyala bangku. Menyala bangku. That's right. Correct? All right. Oh, I love it. All right. It. Like, I yeah. get it now. Uh, it's actually uh, menyala abangku. It's actually come from a uh, comment section in Instagram, like when a wow. guy, uh, when uh, someone post a photo of uh, he play basketball or football, and the uh, and the other friends will comment menyala abangku with a fire uh, emoticon. Actually, uh, uh, so you, it's like you. it's like power. It's like got hype. You, yeah. uh, let's go. It's like let's go. Something like that. <laughs> That's it's like right. Fighting. Okay, okay, okay. Abang ko. <laughs> dreamers. Abang ko. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Last uh, last question from me. What kind of musician do you want to be known as? Oh, whoa! You you hit us with a very existential question, like a very okay. difficult question. <laughs> I think uh, many things, of course, but I think more than anything. We want to be known as a band that cares about having an impact with the music that we make. Uh, because that's why we're together, actually. And that's what has kept us going, the, the purpose that we have of really like uh, getting people closer to the point of hopeful realizations. So that's the message and the purpose of Ben and Ben's music. And so we want to be remembered as a band that tries their best to make music that has impact. You know, like when 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 a person listens to the song, be like, oh, that band gets me. And, you know, just like, and just to make it lighter, you know, just like um, Bananas and Pajamas, B1 and B2, 
uh, if, if you know that. Um, kind of like that. That uh, inspiring people to to be more of like lighthearted, but at the same time, um, dreamers, just like your radio station. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, for the closing, can you sing a little bit uh, of your songs, comments? Of course, of course. We were actually about to ask that. Uh, we wanted to sing for you. Okay, so hello, dreamers. Hello, everyone. Uh, we are Ben and Ben. Uh, we're a band from the Philippines, and we're going to sing for you our song called Comments. Don't you say it's all because I didn't give myself enough to you That the sparks fizzled out Even though we swore they never would Do comments come my way If they were only meant to pass Why did your love fill my days If it was never meant to last Was it never meant to Amazing. Oh, I was nervous. It went to my head, shoulders, heart. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Please promote Ooh. your new single Peace to the Dreamers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Dreamers. Thank you so much. We love you and hopefully see you soon. Thank you again. Thank we are Ben you. and Ben. Follow us everywhere. Ben and Ben okay. Music. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Have a Thank great you. day. See you soon in Indonesia. Bye. Yes, see you there. See you soon.